Here's a good question. For recovery, what about elevation? If something's swollen and I, if I elevate it, is that going to help it recover faster? Um, that's a good question because obviously rice, rest ice compression elevation has been the standard for a long time. But now that people are looking at the science, we're seeing that ice doesn't really help. It hurts. That's what the science says. So for elevation, the first thing I did is went on Google, started looking for scientific studies, references to scientific studies, because my understanding of how the body works is totally irrelevant. What matters is what the facts say. So we have to look at the science for everything. Um, unlike ice, there aren't really any studies on it. I couldn't find anything. You can go on Google if you find something. I'd like to see it. I found things that said that there weren't studies on it, though, so I don't think there are. So there's no evidence that it works. There isn't evidence that it doesn't work, but if there's no evidence either way, we should assume it doesn't work. Okay. Um, I mean, yeah, honestly, that's how it would go based off the science. Um, I do have a theory that I'd postulate of why it doesn't work based on my understanding of how the human body works, and I'm trying to be scientific, refer to things you can look up here. So. Um, the lymphatic system is really the recovery healing system as far as liquid goes in the body. There's the main circulatory system of red blood and there's the lymphatic system which is white blood cells, white fluid. Um, and after an injury, the body mechanism, I don't know how this mechanism works exactly, but it tells white blood to go to that area to clean things out. It comes, brings groceries, removes um, with waste. And we do know, and I know, you can look this up, the method for clearing, the way, the lymphatic system does nothing to do with the heart. It has to do with the muscles. Muscle contraction squeezes fluid in and out. So uh, the idea is to get a lot of fluid cycles, it seems, of lymph in, lymph out, lymph in, lymph out, and the more we move, the more fluid cycles we can get. As for elevation, um, yeah, Theoretically, if you hang upside down, you, you know, the fluid's going to go with gravity to an extent. Um, so it's probably true that you would see fluid leave if you hang upside down. But we're not really looking for fluid to leave. We want fluid to enter back in. So if it's making it more difficult for fluid to get in, then it's not really beneficial because we don't want to just drain stuff out. Generally, we want to circulate, right? So that's my theory of why there's no evidence that, uh, that says, it, says it works. If you want to explore, the lymphatic system is a good place to look. Get on Google. But um, it seems that we, uh, I, I would go with the science, which says that we, don't know, we actually don't know anything about elevation, whether it works or doesn't work, really. So um, maybe you can find something that I didn't find, but that seems to be what it is. So good question.